Hello, I'm Mrs Cottenden and welcome to chapter 11 of Alice in Wonderland. Who stole the tarts? The King and Queen of Hearts were seated on their throne when they arrived, with a great crowd assembled about them. All sorts of little birds and beasts, as well as the whole pack of cards, the knave was standing before them, in chains, with a soldier on each side to guard him. And near the king was the white rabbit, with a trumpet in one hand and a scroll of parchment in the other. In the very middle of the court was a table, with a large dish of tarts upon it. They looked so good that it made Alice quite hungry to look at them. I wish they'd get the trial done, she thought, and hand round the refreshments. But there seemed to be no chance of this, so she began looking at everything about her to pass the time away. Alice had never been in a court of justice before, but she had read about them in books, and she was quite pleased to find that she knew the name of nearly everything there. That's the judge, she said to herself, because of his great wig. The judge, by the way, was the king, and as he wore his crown over the wig, look at the frontispiece if you want to see how he did it. He did not look at all comfortable, and it's certainly not becoming. And that's the jury box, thought Alice, and those twelve creatures, she was obliged to say creatures, you see, because some of them were animals and some were birds. I suppose they are the jurors. She said this last word two or three times over to herself, being rather proud of it, for she thought, and rightly too, that very few little girls of her age knew the meaning of it all. However, jurymen would have done just as well. The twelve jurors were all writing very busily on slates. What are they doing? Alice whispered to the griffin. They can't have anything to put down yet, just before the trial's begun. They're putting down their names, the griffin whispered in reply, for fear they should forget them before the end of the trial. Stupid things! Alice began in a loud, indignant voice, but she stopped hastily, for the white rabbit cried out, Silence in the court! And the king put on his spectacles and looked anxiously round to make out who was talking. Alice could see, as well as she were looking over their shoulders, that all the jurors were writing down stupid things on their slates, and she could even make out that one of them didn't know how to spell stupid, and that he had to ask his neighbour to tell him. A nice muddle their slates will be before the trial's over, thought Alice. One of the jurors had a pencil that squeaked. This, of course, Alice could not stand, and she went round the corner and got behind him, and very soon found an opportunity of taking it away. She did it so quickly that the poor little juror, it was Bill the Lizard, could not make out what had become of it. So after hunting all about for it, he was obliged to write with one finger for the rest of the day. And this was of very little use as it left no mark on the slate. Herald, read the accusation, said the king. On this, the white rabbit blew three blasts on the trumpet and then unrolled the parchment scroll and read as follows. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them quite away. Consider your verdict, the King said to the jury. Not yet, not yet, the rabbit hastily interrupted. There's a great deal to come before that. Call the first witness, said the King. And the white rabbit blew three blasts on the trumpet and called out, First witness! I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you all in September. Take care. <laughs>